All right, here we go for our boys soccer interview today. We got a couple seniors, Brandon Scove and Jacob Goodman here with us. Uh, and we're going to talk about the busy week they had starting back with last Thursday. We talked with Coach Bromelkamp right before the Lake City game. And uh, he was excited for that because they had had some big wins on the year over Byron and um, a couple other of the HVL schools. And so uh, if you can think back to that Lake City game, did I hear that we had a goal from our goalie? Is that the truth? Yeah, we did. Yep. Let's hear about it. So he punted the ball and it landed in the other team's 18 and bounced off one of the defenders had more right in the ball. Yeah. No kidding. The so, defender went to head it completely, like biffed it and went into the goal. <laughs> I was just hearing that story in the lunchroom and so I, I didn't believe it so I had to hear it from another source. So that, and then I hear that's why uh, Mr. Buchel shaved his head. Yeah. Because they had a little bet going on. Okay, so good. Now I got the backstory to that. All right, so that was a goal, and you ended up winning the game by a score of 2-1. to one, Is that correct? Yes. So it was 1-1 one to one at half, I remember following on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then uh, tell me about the scoring in the second half. Uh, the second half, Do you I remember? was just, oh, yeah, I swear the second half. Okay, all right. I, I was just dribbling, and I was, I've been ripping shots, like, all game, and I, I was, like, unlucky. And I finally just hit it top, top left, like, bar down. Nice. Hit like, the bar and went down in? Yeah, it was like 25, close to 30 yards out. Yeah, you can rip them back there. That's good. All right, so um, continued your winning ways again on the uh, on Saturday afternoon. We had a busy day. We had girls soccer before you guys, and then you guys got on the field and uh, played Jordan. Tell us a little bit about that game. You started up, Brandon. Uh, well, Jordan, we, I feel like the just played, we played pretty good. Like yeah. So, it was kind of a fun game to just get in the groove and be, like, learn what we're going to be doing out on the field and get some chemistry going. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the biggest differences from watching your team this year from last year is, um, one, um, communication. You guys talk a lot about, you know, you can kind of hear where people are at. And then the passing and the fluidity, like you said, the chemistry seems to be much more crisp and uh, cleaner. What can you say about that? Yeah, I think we're definitely talking a lot better. We like each other more than last year. There's a couple guys who had some problems, but I think we're doing a lot better for that. Yeah, and you can see it on the court or on the field, sorry, um, as well. Um, guys picking each other up and continuing to talk positively so you know even if things aren't going well as well as can be you know you're down a goal or whatever it seems um that uh, you guys have, have gelled and, and continue to battle um i mentioned in the last week's story that lourdes coach had those great things to say about your team that you continued to battle um all the way through the end and, and you know tied them that day but uh, have had some big wins i think because of it Okay, so uh, I know the, the game Tuesday didn't go our way. We lost to Pism, Pine Islands and Broda Mazeppa, uh, 4 to 0. Um, kind of a weird game um, just on how they scored goals. Um, and, and, you know, it, maybe if we play them again, it ends up a little bit differently. But uh, tell us a little bit about how, uh, how you can come back from that tonight. Well, so far, we decided when one of our big errors that game was our formation. Like, our wingers are probably a weak spot on your team. So we decided to change formation at practice yesterday, mm -hmm. and we're going to try it out again today Okay. For new formation. So tonight, um, I didn't mention this, the, the guys are playing, hosting Cannon Falls, and it'll be parents' night, so we'll be celebrating all the parent sacrifices that they make for these guys to be able to do the things that they do. And uh, Cannon Falls is a team you beat earlier in the year 3-0 to zero or 4-0 to zero maybe? Three. Okay. And so they come to town, won't take them lightly. You've got to score goals to win, of course. And, you know, that that's always tough to do when, when teams maybe uh, have already seen you once. So good luck on that one, and we'll be out there tonight. So a couple quick questions before we go. Um, first one is, if you were to go to Rochester, pregame meal, could have anything you wanted, where would you go? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. All right, what do you get there? Probably get five tacos. And cinnamon twist. And kickstart. The, the orange kickstart. Orange kickstart. All right. 
Stop at Quick Trip, get a chicken sandwich, monster. All right. Ready to go for the game. Chicken sandwich from Quick Trip. I just got some of that for my daughters last night. They got over the chicken fingers, and they weren't bad. Quick Trip, never, never knew. Um, okay, good one. Um, how about favorite movie? I don't watch movies like that at all. Not? Nah. But probably the Hunger Games. I enjoy always remember Ooh. that. It's like a good movie. Five years ago. Good series. Yeah. One of the Avengers. One. They're all pretty good. Good so call. Great choices, guys. Good taste in movies. All right, well, thanks, guys, uh, for taking the time out of lunch to come over and meet, and good luck tonight against Cannon Falls. And then Saturday, we'll also have another home game against Winona Cotter. 11 o'clock, the JV will uh, kick off, and then the varsity will go at 1 o'clock. All right, thanks, guys.